It was a great day to put down the phone and get outside in the sunshine. Meteorologist Kellen Peters is here to tell us what to expect for the rest of tonight and what's happening this week. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It was a great day to go outside. Here's a time lapse you can see right behind me. It started off real sunny and then clouds just started marching in today, but nevertheless, felt real good out there. Was not dealing with uh, humidity. It was a little breezy, but uh, not too much to complain out there. Now, right now it's uh, 70, 77 degrees at the airport and those dew points of at least 20 degrees lower uh, than where we were uh, yesterday. And what we're looking at, it's going to be pretty quiet, but temperatures are going to be dropping about 10 degrees below average. Just be prepared for that. We'll see those temperatures coming up in a little bit. As for tomorrow, sun's still going to hang around and it is going to be less windy. But then as we get into the middle of the week, we'll start to see uh, some possible chances of some maybe some showers and thunder showers and then even uh, some more summer like uh, temperatures there. Here's a look at satellite and radar. Of course, it's pretty quiet. There is some rain showers in far northern Wisconsin and northeastern Minnesota. That's all going to stay well north of us and we're just going to be dealing again with those clouds and breezy conditions and cooler temperatures. But overall in the upper Midwest, it's been a pretty nice day. 77 in La Crosse, 76 in the Twin Cities, 73 in Winona. But of course the wind still coming out of the northwest around 10 to 20 miles an hour. And those wind gusts even higher than that, around 20 to 30 miles an hour. We have had a couple wind gusts higher than that, but again, the wind should not be getting stronger throughout the day. It's just going to get uh, decrease as we get closer to midnight. So here is Sky Tracker. It's looking pretty quiet. Once we get at closer to midnight and after those winds die down, then we get into tomorrow still staying st still staying sunny. Uh, and then we get into tomorrow afternoon and late evening. There could be an isolated light shower or sprinkle. Really not expecting much accumulation with this, if anything. Again, tomorrow's looking pretty dry. But for Tuesday, that looks like a better chance for some scattered showers and possible some thunderstorms as well. Your next 24 hours temperatures are going to dip into the upper 40s and lower 50s, but then spike up a couple degrees uh, warmer for uh, tomorrow. Speaking of tonight again, though, a low of 52. So here's a look at your eight day forecast. Again, the temperatures are going to be rising up as we get middle of the week. Your thunderstorm chances are going to be Tuesday and Thursday. And then as for the 4th of July, still looking pretty warm, uh, but it's not too far, far around the corner. All right, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to the warm weather. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Colin.